This video is about hoplite swords, the sort of swords that the, uh, the classical Greek hoplites of uh, uh, ancient Athens and so forth would have used. Now, these are normally depicted uh, as really quite short, almost like giant daggers, if anything. Uh, now, some years ago, I, I made a mock-up for a live-action role-play event. I'm saying this up front, okay, before I get anyone saying, that's a rubbish reconstruction, yeah, okay. But here it is, um, and uh, it's uh, the correct length. Look at it! It's a dirty great big chopper. Now, I, I uh, found some archaeological reports, picked out uh, a drawing of a sword or other liked, and uh, based this on the dimensions of that. Obviously, it's a lot fatter. It's padded so that you can hit people with it without, without hurting them. Um, but this is the correct length, and you can see uh, where the meat of the blade is. It's, it's somewhere around here. So you've got a curving-ish uh, edge to hit people with, so you get some of the advantages of a curved sword. Uh, for cutting, and uh, yet the overall the thing is fairly straight, so you get the, the wieldiness advantage of a straight sword. And uh, this is not a short sword. Now, it's, yeah, granted, it's not as, uh, as long as, say, a, a Saxon or a Viking sword. It's, uh, it's about 31 inches, including the hilt. The blade length is about two feet, uh, and you know, a, a Saxon sword is there about at least three feet. So, yeah, okay, it's not a long sword by any means, but it's, I wouldn't call this a short sword. It's significantly longer than a Roman gladius. And it's um, it's a dirty great chopper. This this is um, it's got a pretty wicked point on it. You could certainly thrust with it, but it's a, a pretty wicked hacking weapon. Um, so uh, that was point one about uh, the Greek hoplite swords. They weren't uh, tiddly little short swords. Um, and the other thing is a curious aspect of the design of these uh, scabbards. Now, in all the sculptures and vase paintings, what you see is a guy with a rope-like baldric and the sword hanging in its scabbard from these fittings, like that, just down by his side. And this strikes me as a little bit mysterious because if you want to draw a sword, you grab the uh, handle like this and then you pull. And with this arrangement of suspension, the scabbard just comes with it. Yeah, you can then start really awkwardly, really awkwardly, uh, drawing it, but really you need a second hand to grab hold of the scabbard so that you can pull the sword out. But you don't want to have to use two hands to draw a sword, particularly as, don't forget, in your other hand you've got your, your shield, you've got your aspis, your hoplon or whatever these are. Um, and that, now it is possible to grab the uh, scabbard with that hand and draw, but I would have thought that you'd want You'd want to avoid the awkwardness of that. Um, so, there are two possibilities. Uh, possibility one is that the vase paintings and the sculptures are actually not accurate, and that for the purpose of elegance, just as though they've missed off all sorts of other details like the daggers and water bottles and other things that people probably carried, uh, perhaps they've missed off some other feature, like perhaps a belt. If you wear a belt over the top, of the baldric, then the belt keeps the baldric down, and then you can draw your sword with one hand. Um, so that's a possibility. They've just missed off some other feature, probably a belt, the simplest way of doing it, uh, for holding things down. But maybe the other thing is this curious feature at the end of the scabbard. You see, it's got this sort of bar across here, which you tend not to get on um, other scabbards. Maybe. Just maybe, the idea is that that bar catches on the underside of the uh, of the um, shield, and that, as it is now, allows me to draw the sword. Um, it does mean, of course, that now that I've drawn the sword, this is just flopping all over the place really awkwardly and annoyingly, and you've got that bar which. Um, it's at about knee height, so every now and again that would uh, clonk you in the knee and hurt. Um, I'm not completely convinced by this, but it is just an idea. Just, just looking at the design of that scabbard, why did they have that bar thing across? Oh, maybe it's because it's just an idea.